Today's topic is all about LOI, Task Related Documents Upload in Accenture. So guys, as part of the candidate's recruitment journey, you will be receiving task notification in order to upload all the documents, okay, and fill the details as well. So these are nothing but your task, okay. So in this task, if you haven't begun any task yet, then you can see the count as like not begin task like 12, 13 like that. So if you have begun and you are able to fill all the details and submit the documents, then you can see the submitted count here as like how many you have submitted. Those many counts will be there here. And if any task, like if you have filled some wrong details or like uh, mostly the documents okay which you are uploaded should be correct okay so if at all they found that the document is not correct proper like that then they will be rejecting your document and will be uh, sending your mail in order to re-upload the document okay and last one is nothing but if at all all your documents and details are correct then they will be get approved okay this is all about the like uh, when you log into the task dashboard you can see this counts okay now let us assume that you haven't uh, begin any task yet i'll be clearly explaining you each and every task guys please don't skip this video because all the details i have gathered and i'm uh, trying to uh, explain you in a very clear manner so please don't try to skip the video and watch till end and uh, let's go to the task list and we will begin our task Okay, here you can see there are about one to nine uh, tasks which you have to do and the last four are the first things we have to do. Okay, so those are nothing but first one is your letter of intent. Uh, okay, and next one is your candidate confirmation and third one is like survey mendix and out system details and last one is survey for service now and salesforce option okay first let us go this one okay like this order wise like first we will be filling last four and then we'll be going to the one two nine uh, form fillings and document uploadings okay now let's see uh, the first one which is nothing but letter of intent so guys in this LOI please go through the document thoroughly because they are telling you that uh, if you get okay if a candidate get LOI it doesn't mean that Accenture is providing you the employment it is not like an offer letter okay it is just a LOI so they were telling that you need to provide all the documents essentials related so that they will be verifying and if at all they are okay with your uh, documents and everything verification gone well then they will be providing you the offer letter uh, within few days okay within few days or weeks so that they were telling and they are also talking about your pre-learning modules okay so you have to finish right uh, for the primer assessment so before the primer assessment you will be receiving the primer modules right so in uh, which time okay how much time you have to finish so do so those details will be there how much percentage you have to pass so those details will be there and finally your ctc will be discussed in this letter of intent so please go through this guys uh, it will be helpful to you so once you read the document please click on the accept button okay now we will move to the second one which is nothing but candidate confirmation so guys before moving forward a small humble request from my side please subscribe to this channel guys the only uh, support uh, that i request from you please subscribe uh, now let's move to the rest of the video so in the candidate confirmation like they'll be asking are you interested in pursuing a career with accenture so the answer is as obviously we are interested so answer is as and next one is nothing but mendix and out system survey so in the survey like if you have any mendix certification you can click on as otherwise no and uh, do you have any out system certification if you have then you can click on as otherwise no okay now let's move to the next survey which is on a uh, survey for uh, service now and salesforce so guys if you have no idea about this thing uh, if you want me to make a detailed video then i'll be making a video upon this so here if you are already aware of this then uh, if you are interested in service now you can uh, select service now otherwise you can uh, select or go with salesforce guys so with this we have completed the mandatory things like last four sections now let's dive into the first nine sections uh, in detail so the first one is nothing but your personal details guys where they will be asking you about the gender so 
uh, after that your marital status your spouse name if you're married then uh, your date of birth your father's name and your contact number one is your number and contact number two is your alternate number or your parent number like that you can give and your personal email id so here i have filled some sample data for you guys please go through that so once you are uh, done with your details okay you are uh, confirmed then you can click on submit and next and uh, if you want to do the rest of the things later you can click on just submit and if you don't find them uh, like the details are accurate or correct then you can click on save draft so that you can edit it later so remember one thing that once you submit you cannot edit it back so please be careful guys and when you are filling the details now just uh, please remember uh, you are doing all the details uh, quickly i mean uh, accurately and quickly uh, you are filling one thing and you are uh, forgetting another task is not a right thing to do so please try to complete task uh, as soon as possible and it will be uh, helpful for your background verification too okay now uh, let's move to the next one which is nothing but the address details okay in the candidate address details you will be asked to fill uh, your current address guys so in the current address you need to mention your like house name and phone number so what a state like which state you are staying in and your city and period of stay from which date to which uh, date you are staying here and your country uh, name and your pin code okay you have to fill this this is your current address guys so down this you are having uh, like uh, the permanent address to be filled so if your current address and primary address is same you can uh, check out this uh, radio button so that it will be auto filled uh, otherwise if your permanent and current address is different you have to manually fill it again okay now once you fill this uh, address details and uh, you are okay with it then you can click on submit and next now next one is your identity details guys so in this identity details you need to enter your title like a miss or missus like that and uh, your first name and next one is your middle name and last name and here you need to upload your document uh, guys so please be ready with your documents so here you need to upload your resume so after your resume uh, they are asking your pan card details guys like uh, whether you applied for it or you not applied for it or you already have it okay so once uh, you check it like you already have your pan card then you need to enter your pan card details guys you need to enter your pan number and uh, they are asking like can this be considered as your id proof document so obviously yes uh, and uh, then you need to upload your pan card guys so before you are filling these details try to keep all the documents along with you i mean uh, scanned documents along with you so that you can easily upload here okay now next one is your passport details guys uh before uh joining accenture if you haven't uh, uploaded or if you haven't applied for uh, passport then please try to apply for passport guys it will be very useful for your future so uh, they are also recommending you to apply before joining itself so guys here uh, i have uh, chosen the option like not applied for passport yet so if you have applied then you need to enter your passport details validation dates and uh, upload the passport and if you just applied for the passport you can click on applied for the passport okay now next things to be filled is your driving license details do you have a driving license uh, if you have Yes, you need to fill details otherwise no okay next one they are asking is your voter id card so if you have your voter id card like they will be asking like can this be considered as id proof then you can click on s yes and you need to upload your voter id so then uh last one is nothing but your affidavit details guys if you have any name changes or proofs or documents to be uploaded then you can upload in this section okay if this is related to your name change things and once you are done in uploading all these identity proofs then you can move to the next section like uh, by clicking on submit so the next section is nothing but your education details guys this is a little bit long one so the first one you need to fill is your first name guys next one is your middle name and next one is your last name so once you fill this you here you have to choose your education details so uh, the minimum one it is like uh, your 10th plus your 12th one plus your graduation one so if you have done your mca like that also you can add here like 10 plus 12 plus graduation plus your mca so here i have chosen uh, 10 plus 12 plus graduation only now 
if you have chosen the mca as well then you need to mention how, in how many years you have completed it next one is your primary skill or competency like if you are uh, okay with it then you can fill if you don't have any primary skill yet you can leave it blank because it is optional one and uh, if you have any educational gaps please uh, you need to mention here like uh, what is the uh, state of the reason like why there is a gap like that now uh, let's move to the next one uh, which is nothing but your graduation details okay so in this graduation details you need to fill your graduation degree like uh, if you have done the btech then you can uh, provide it as btech and your graduation branch like a uh, csc ec triple like that and uh, graduation college okay in which uh, engineering college you have studied and graduation passing year like your pass out year and uh, your graduation university name okay to which uh, your college is affiliated to and next one is your uh, registration like your uh, registration number so the roll number and uh, your graduation period from which period to which period your graduation have been done and next one is nothing but uh, like for some candidates like uh, for the first year okay their uh, btech first year they will be considering two different sense like sem1 and sem2 i mean 1 1 and 1 2 but uh, for some uh, colleges they will be considering both sense of first year as only one okay like a whole one year they will be considering there won't be any sense so if in that case like you are having any separate sense then you can click on uh, uh, no here okay if it is s okay then uh, like uh, both the sense they are considering it as one year then you can click on s so here i am uh, taking two different sense guys so i am taking option as no now here you need to upload all the mark sheets of all your sense guys like uh, first year first sem first year second sem like 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 2 like 3 1 3 2 4 1 4 2 all these eight documents please keep in handy scan all the documents and uh, name rename them as 1 1 1 2 like that so it will be easy for you to upload the documents thereby you need to upload your degree convocation document and uh, provisional degree certificate document as well then so uh, please remember guys in the next section you will be having the backlog section where you need to upload the year wise or sem wise if you have any backlog you need to upload their backlog documents in the first one okay in the first mark sheets you should not upload any backlog documents please be careful while doing this so so your uh, um, uh, details of backlog if exist then you need to uh, upload it in the next section of backlog sheets you should not mix up with this one okay that is the case so here you need to upload your backlog mark sheets if you are having any backlog in sem1 you need to upload here so this way your graduation details are done okay now let's move to the second one uh, like which is nothing but your intermediate education details like hsc 12th or diploma details here you uh, you will be asking for your institution okay in which college you have studied and your uh, board okay diploma board or 12th board what it is you have to fill and from which period to which period you have done your uh, college like intermediate one and your uh, registration number like your roll id you have to mention and uh, which program you have taken like which course you have taken mpc like that uh, you have to mention and how much percentage or marks you have got you need to uh, mention here and your marks sheet okay so whatever like a long memo or short memo you'll be having right so that uh, you have to upload and finally your uh, certificate you have to upload here guys so with this you have completed your intermediate education details now let's move to the last one in the education details which is nothing but your 10th class so in this 10th class or SSE details you need to first fill your school name guys school name or your institution name and thereby which board you belongs to here I have mentioned state board and from which period to which period here uh, you need to mention only the 10th class okay 10th class uh, years and next one is nothing but your registration number your roll number you have to mention and your SSE program like uh, it is full time or part time you have to mention and next one is your CGPA or percentage you have scored that you have to mention and a uh, last word nothing but your uploading documents like your SSE mark sheet and your SSE certificate like bona fide certificate you will be having right so that certificate you have to upload so once you are done these please save and uh, submit and go to the next section okay 
so guys next section is nothing but your semester marks details so here they will be asking you to enter number of subjects in all your semesters guys like sem1 sem2 sem3 suppose i have selected like sem1 uh, and uh, the three subjects are there so they will be providing you this tabs okay if you select six you will be getting six like this so for sem1 sem2 sem3 till sem8 okay all your sems you have to fill the details for suppose uh, if you haven't known like uh, what is uh, how the grade will be calculated everything almost in your mark sheets they will be providing you the grade and everything so if you are unaware i'm just wanted to uh, provide the uh, you know awareness like how it will be calculated so guys like if it is greater than 90% okay greater than or equal to 90% your grade points are 10 and your grade is o o is nothing but your outstanding so if your grade points is 9 then it is a and 8 and 9 it is a grade 6 and 7 grade points it is b grade and 5 is c grade and uh, if it is 0 then uh, you are like it is a failure okay f so this way the grades will be calculated guys I'm just trying to explain you through the SEM1. Suppose you have chosen subjects 3 and here if you can see uh, your subjects you have to fill with full names. Okay, don't try to keep shortcuts here. Please write the full name. Okay, suppose mathematics 1 generally we call it as M1, right? So the subject 1, okay, it is subject 1 like the credit score is 4, let us assume. So your grade points are 8. Okay, according to our table, then your grade will be B okay so your uh, subject one credit index is there right so this credit index column will be they will only calculate once you fill your credit score and uh, grade okay grade points then uh, the numeric one uh, then you will be uh, getting your credit index auto populated guys so in grade numeric you have to mention your grade points and uh, in which grade like grade alpha in you have to mention your grade like a b c d like that okay so the subject type will be like a mandatory or optional so whichever uh, subject uh, they have mentioned so you need to mention that type okay in your uh, semester mark sheets like whatever it is like it is mandatory you have to mention mandatory otherwise optional so likewise i have filled for chemistry and english as well so you can go through and this way you have to fill your semester marks details so every semester guys you have to fill so once you are done click on submit and move to the next section which is nothing but your candidate prior employment details so they are asking like have you worked with accenture before if your answer is yes okay you need to uh, mention them some details okay like which period you work from from which to which okay and your old employee ID with accenture you have to mention otherwise you can click on no okay this is about your employment details and then click on submit and your work experience details like you have any work experience before okay before joining uh, so that you have to mention so i'm choosing the option as no and then click on submit and next now next is your candidate international workers uh, details like your citizenship okay india like your nationality you have to fill and are you holding any foreign passport so if your answer is yes then you can uh, fill the details otherwise you can click on no now click on submit and next so guys the last one here is declaration form uh, where you can see uh, the LOA in the right uh, top corner right so please click on that link where you can download your LOA guys so please read through the content mentioned in the LOA so you need to acknowledge that after reading that and uh, you need to acknowledge by keeping a sign okay your signature you need to keep and you need to write your name in capital letters and your date okay when you're signing that so you can uh, take a hard copy and manually sign and then scan and upload it here it will be a better option so here you can see to enter your name right please fill your name and then upload this LOA okay letter of authorization now with this uh, if you submit now so with this all your tasks are submitted okay so guys please consider my suggestions please don't uh, uh, upload the uh, blur images or else uh, you know the tour one uh, please uh, upload the clear documents and also please keep every document scanned and keep it in happy okay now with this i think i have explained you the total uh, overview and a very clear session upon uh, uploading of your documents
so if you like this video please do like the video guys and uh, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and if you have any sort of uh, queries please comment in the comment section i will be available in the instagram as well and in the telegram channel i will be posting all the uh, links related to this videos so please don't forget to subscribe guys and like this video and comment in the comment section okay and take care guys